It's just like every day it gets harder and harder to live with him. He just sits around the house doing nothing. What am I meant to do with that? Don't you think you're being a bit harsh? I mean, he's blind. No, I know, OK? And I really don't mean to sound mean, but it would just be so much easier if he admitted that he needed help. But I can't even have a friend around for dinner. Really? Yeah. I told him that I was going to invite Trey, and he wasn't even interested in hearing whoa, me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Trey? Yeah, so? Why would you want to have Trey over for dinner? Did you lose a bet or something? No, we're just friends, that's it. Be serious after everything he did to Kirsty and me, not to mention everything else. No, I know he's done some stupid things, OK? But I've gotten to know him, and he's really not that bad. OK, yeah, I get it. We're talking about two different trays, aren't we? OK, just because you two don't get along doesn't no, mean that you... I can't believe I'm hearing this. Nicole, don't get involved with him. He's bad news. Oh, OK, thank you, Dad. Yeah, well, maybe your dad has a point. No, he doesn't. And yours is sounding really old, Jack. OK, guys. You know what? Forget it. Yeah, whatever. Anybody home? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Colleen. Oh, Hugo. Oh, you look dreadful. You, you're white as a sheet. You're not sick, are you? Oh, no, no. I'm not. I've just been for a run. I'm just about to jump in the shower. All oh, right, I won't keep you then. I just popped by to see how Martha's coping now that that awful Angelo Risotto's back in town. The cop? You haven't heard? Uh, no, I just got back from a dive this morning. I haven't seen Martha. She's not here. The rotten scoundrel's gone and found himself a job here. Investigating the killer fish. It's a disgrace, an absolute disgrace. The, the killer fish? Oh, right, if you just come back, you won't have heard about that either. Uh, there are sharks in the bay. Man-eaters scaring people off, left, right and centre. Uh, um, I don't quite follow you. It's the first time in ages that a shark has terrorised the bay. Miles and little VJ found the victim's hand washed up on the beach. What a horrible way to go. One minute you're swimming and the next... Look, Colleen, um, I, I probably should keep moving. I'll, I'll let Martha know that you dropped by, though, eh? Oh, good. Thank you. Can't see ya. <laughs> Toodaloo. Can I order, please? Remember me? Yeah, you're Jack's cousin. Right, so you do remember Jack. So why don't you just do us all a favour and just take off? I can't do that. Yes, you can. Because this is killing Martha. She slept in a shed rather than her own bed because she's so scared of you. I didn't want that. Who cares what you want? We just want you to get the hell out of here. I want you to know that now that I'm back in town, I, I don't intend on interfering with your life. It's not what I'm here for. But I want you to feel scared. I want you to know how sorry I am for what happened. For what I did. I know that word probably doesn't mean much to you. Probably means nothing coming from me, but I need you to hear it. I'm sorry. If I could take it all back, I would. I never intended to hurt Jack in any way. I never meant to hurt you.
good. Call theatre ASAP and get a surgical consult down here now. 